Welcome back everyone. This is our lesson five about adding decimal numbers. And I've given us a problem to get started with. Two and 62 hundredths plus one and five tenths. You might be thinking right away that something is a little bit weird about this problem because this decimal number goes to the hundredths place. This decimal number doesn't. So let me show you how we can add these two. So you wanna start by getting everything lined up. So let me ask you this. If I do this, is this all lined up? Is the ones place lined up with the other ones place? Okay, good, I'm glad you noticed that no, they're not lined up. The decimal point is not lined up. So let's fix that. I can move that over and make sure, now that I know a lot about place value, I know that my one hole needs to go with two hole. The decimal point should be lined up and the five tenths should go under the six tenths. Now let's think about what could we put in the hundredths place to make this look a little bit better. Is there something I could fill that in with that wouldn't change the value? Okay, you got it, zero doesn't change the value. The five is still in the tenths place. Now I can add. Okay, two plus zero is two. Six plus five is 11, and we already know a lot about regrouping. One plus two plus one is four, and bring down my decimal point. So my answer is four and 12 hundredths. Now we're gonna check out a real life example of this kind of math to help us practice. I'm hungry for nachos, and I need your help to see how much all my ingredients will cost me. Here are all the prices of the ingredients for my nachos. Can you figure out how much this dinner cost me? This would be a good place to pause the video and do some addition. All right, when I'm adding these many numbers, I like to start with something that's easier. Either I can make a 10, but in this case, I don't see in the hundredths place, I don't see a 10 happening, or I could do these larger numbers or doubles because doubles are easier for me. So nine plus nine is 18. Then I can count five more, which is 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So that was a little easier for me to add that way. And I show my regrouping. Okay, then I take a look at this uh, the tenths column. I see seven is my biggest number. Ooh, if I combine seven plus one plus two, I found a 10. And it's always easier to count up from 10. So 10, then 14, then 16, then 18. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring down my decimal. Okay, then I'm gonna count these up. I have nine, four plus five is nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that was a pretty good deal. I got all my ingredients for the nachos for only $12.87. See you guys next week for subtraction.